the students good afternoon to you i am shiv kumar from sri vidyanagar medical education school <coughs> today we are going to start new chapter for you from 6th standard uh, science textbook 5th literature topic name the world of animals the world of animals which means from the world varieties of species are there which means the plant and animals are living in the world that commonly we are called biodiversity the living world the living world of animals otherwise called biodiversity what is the meaning of biodiversity biodiversity which means varieties of organism which means biological organisms from the earth surface 75% water 25% land surface from the both side millions of species are there among the million species not unique compare one to another totally different the animals and plants we are going to classify one is the world of animals second one world of plants commonly we are called biodiversity so i told you biodiversity which means varieties of living forms in the earth that is called biodiversity that way we plant biodiversity in animals that may be sorry that may be animals biodiversity in animals that may be plant biodiversity in plants now we are going to start varieties of animals and plants how we are going to study the topic the first one biodiversity which means it is including different types of ecosystem because from the earth surface according to geographical areas the earth surface not unique totally you compare one to other place totally different so the different types of animals adapt in different climate that is diversity what is the meaning diversity so next one the biodiversity including different types of ecosystem what is the meaning of ecosystem ecosystem which means it is including two factors one is the biotic factors the first one biodiversity including number of ecosystem the ecosystem including number of biotic factors second one ये बायोटिक फैक्टर्स वन इज द बायोटिक फैक्टर्स सेकंड वन ये बायोटिक फैक्टर्स सो इकोसिस्टम व्हिच मींस बायोटिक फैक्टर्स सेकंड वन ये बायोटिक फैक्टर्स बोथ आर कॉमनली वी आर कॉल्ड दैट इज इकोसिस्टम सो फ्रॉम द इकोसिस्टम प्रेजेंस ऑफ टू फैक्टर्स वन इज द बायोटिक फैक्टर सेकंड वन ये बायोटिक फैक्टर्स द बायोटिक फैक्टर्स ओनली वी आर कॉल्ड व्हिच इज बायोडायवर्सिटी So I told you what are what are the factors are present in ecosystem, which means including humans. One is the human. Second one plant. Third one animals. One is the human including plant and the animals. That is biotic factors from the ecosystem. Why I am telling this including topic, which means. Biodiversity, which means varieties of ecosystems are included. That is called biodiversity. So, what is the uh, what is the meaning of which is ecosystem? Which means the ecosystem including one is the biotic factors, second one abiotic factors. From the ecosystem, presence of biotic factors, one is the human, second one plant and the animals. Next one, what are the abiotic factors present in the ecosystem? First one, water. Second one. Yeah, third one, soil, and another one, lot of minerals also. That is included, which is abiotic factors from the ecosystem. Biotic factors, second one, abiotic factors, both are communicate one to another because the living organism, which means biotic factors, life cycle totally depend on the abiotic factors. Without water, we cannot live human. Without water. you can add the plants without water animals cannot live from the earth so biotic factors second one abiotic factors both are communicate what one to each another so the yeah, biotic factors 
Here by default is both are farm ecosystem. So the different types of ecosystems it is constructing which is biodiversity. So biodiversity it is including different types of ecosystem. Ecosystem including biotic factors, second one, abiotic factors. Next one, what are the different types of ecosystem? First of all, first one, forest ecosystem. Second one, desert ecosystem. Third one, grassland ecosystem. Not only this, the ecosystem also a different categories. This only from the land surface. Another one from the aquatic ecosystem. From the aquatic ecosystem, different type is there. One is ocean. Ocean ecosystem second one is sea water ecosystem sea water ecosystem third one river water river water ecosystem fourth one lake water lake water ecosystem fifth one pond water that is different types of ecosystem so di <coughs> two different types of ecosystem one is the land land ecosystem second one aquatic ecosystem Aquatic ecosystem. Ecosystems are different categories. One is the land ecosystem. Second one, aquatic ecosystem. From the land ecosystem, desert ecosystem. I mean forest. Sorry, a forest ecosystem, desert ecosystem, grassland ecosystem. From the land surface. From the aquatic mediums, ocean water ecosystem, sea water ecosystem, river water, lake water, pond water. This is. The different types of ecosystem. All the animals are not adapting same places. From the say, aquatic animals, ocean water adapted animals cannot live in the sea water. Sea water adapted animals cannot live in the ocean water. At the same time, river water, lake water, pond water, three resources are that is a fresh water. Remaining ocean and sea water, salt water. Salt water animals cannot live in the fresh water. Freshwater animals cannot live in the salt water. That is the difference. Next one from the <coughs> land ecosystems. Forest animals cannot live in the desert. Desert animals cannot live in the forest. At the same time, grassland cannot live in the desert. Desert animals cannot live in the grassland. So the ecosystem, it is totally dependent on adaptation, which means habitat. The animal habitat uh, from the available uh, resources, it is designed ecosystem that ecosystem different types the different type ecosystem constructing biodiversity again we are come to the topic biodiversity which means it is otherwise called a, maybe a plant plant kingdom maybe animals animal kingdom now we are taking which is the world of animals from the world the living animals may present approximately I am telling not to exact, exactly Approximately may present 2.5 million subspecies are there from the world. 2.5 million species are there. The 2.5 million species, that in 1.5 million subspecies, animal. Another one, 1 million species. 1 million species are plant. The plant structure and functions, animal structure and function, origin, everything further we are going to study. That is called which is animal kingdom. We are going to study the animal structure and function. That is called the animal kingdom. We are going to study the plant structure and function. That is called the plant kingdom. So, 
the biodiversity which means varieties of species which means biological species living in the world that is called a biodiversity the world of animals biodiversity shall be explained one part the second part diversity of animals again we are going to write two parts depend on the size first one is unicellular animals second one multicellular animals animal biodiversity animals are classified two parts one is the unicellular animals second one is multicellular animals one is the unicellular animals second one multicellular animals according the size wise animals are the two categories unicellular animals which means that is most primitive and very smallest animals it is microscopic animals which is the unicellular animals are microscopic structure <coughs> microscopic structure it's very minute form that is unicellular unicellular otherwise called a single cell animal and better example one is amoeba amoeba paramecium euglena etc that is which is example of which is unicellular animals unicellular animals amoeba paramecium euglena etc second one is multicellular animals the multicellular animals means very largest animals we can see our naked eye with our naked eye that is the multicellular animals first example human human is a multicellular animal second one frog frog is a multicellular animals fish fish the multicellular animals so human fish frog second one um, bird population also bird population also which is multicellular animals what is the difference the two animals the unicellular animal are single cell animals unicellular otherwise called a single cell animal single cell animals why it is called a single cells the animal body structure made up of only one cell that is called a single cell single cell animal otherwise called a unicellular animal we want to see the animal structure we need a microscope from the scientist laboratory then when we can observe the single cell or unicellular animal structure example amoeba paramecium euglena better second one is multicellular animals so no need the microscope throw the naked eye structures we can observe the animal structure human also from that unicellular animals amoeba we should take what is specific structure of amoeba how you can observe or find out the first one amoeba is a unicellular eukaryotic animals amoeba is a unicellular eukaryotic animals it is the first animals origin from the earth which is amoeba the amoeba it is made of our first one cell membrane another one presence of nucleus cytoplasm also present cytoplasm also presence food contracting vacuoles also present Food contracting vacuoles also present from the multicellular animal body structure presence of many cells that animals body structure and function designed by many cells each body cells composed of form a tissue tissues are from organ organs are from organ system it is maintained that individual work from the multicellular from the unicellular all the body functions what are the body functions a living being must have which is respiratory process nutrition excretion reproduction in many process it is followed by single cell so unicellular all the body functions maintained by which is single cell single cell better examples amoeba amoeba is a unicellular animal 
it is including cell membrane. Cell membrane is present of cytoplasm. Food contact in vacuoles are present. Nucleus also present. All the body functions perform a single cell because of it is called which is single cell animal. Next one, same single cell paramecium. The paramecium also flat soul structure. All the body functions made up of same single cells. This also presents, good contracting vacuoles also presents. Two nucleus from the paramecium, they have two nucleus. One is the micronucleus. The structure is called a micronucleus. That is macronucleus. That is macronucleus. It is also have food contacting vacuoles. And it, they have also cytoplasms, presence of cytoplasm, but only two different. The nucleus from the amoeba, only one nucleus. From the paramecium, they have two nucleus. One is the micronucleus, second one, macronucleus. Food contact vacuoles presents both little difference. That is structure of which is unicellular animals. Another example is euglena. The euglena, it is also single cell animal, but the euglena sometimes we are consider it is a unicactus, which means some of the characters coincide with the plant. Some of the character coincide with the animals, which is euglena. The euglena, it is a basically it's a single cell animal. Euglena is a basically single cell animals. Nucleus also present. Cytoplasm, cell membrane also present. Presence of chloroplast from the euglena. Presence of chloroplast. But from the animals, animal body cells, chloroplast totally absence. The chloroplast only present in plant cells. But from the euglena, presence of chloroplast. Because of sometimes the euglena, sometimes you are considered, which means a coincide with the plant characters, sometimes coincide with which is animal characters. So, but uh, most it presence of cell membrane and the nucleus it totally compare uh, when compare in animals animal cell structure totally 90 percent same characters so we are kind of design animals so in better example unicellular animals otherwise called the single cell animals the single cell animal examples amoeba paramecium and euglena the two three examples for the which is single cell animals next we are going to talk, talk about Multicellular animals. I told you the multicellular animal body is made up of many cells. The many types of cells are it is doing different types of functions. That is multicellular animal. Multicellular animal better example first one fishes which means it's aquatic form but it's a better example which is multicellular animal. You just listen to the board observe the diagram method that is a fish structure. That is better known by animal multicellular structure. Multicellular animal, better example, fishes. Listen. From the multicellular animal, fish, frog, birds, lizard, and many examples are there. I will explain only few examples. Just observe. You see, this is multicellular animal, fish structure, head, head, eyes, two eyes are there, mouth structure, that is a fin. 
body middle part is the covered skin from the skin many different type is there it is a tail fin each part is made up of different types of cells the different types of cells they are maintain different functions not only the fishes we are taking the human body and the frog body also from the multicellular bodies many cells are there that the many cells are <coughs> composed form a tissue tissues are formed a organs organs are formed a organ system organs are formed a organ system that is multicellular body structure and structures so we are compare or uh, differentiate unicellular and multicellular animal body structure unicellular animal body structure made up of only one cell multicellular animal body structure made up of many cells is we want to identify the unicellular animal structure we need a microscope from the multicellular body structure, we want to observe no need the microscope we can see with our naked eye structure majority of difference size and functions depend the two characters we can easily differentiate unicellular and the multicellular body structure from the multicellular animals another better example frog already we are talk about single cell animal amoeba paramecium euglena from the multicellular animals we are talk about one is a fish second type is a frog frog is the amphibian frog is the amphibians why the frog is called amphibians amphibian which means the animal it can live land and water from the two ecosystems it can live which is frog is the amphibian why the frog is called amphibian? which means it can live in water resources and land resources because of frog is called which is amphibian the frog initially it was origin from the water by the evolution process gradually they develop into land animals so the frog how it can live in the land medium and water resources which means they have two respiratory organs one is the gills sorry lungs and the skin when the frog became a land resources at the time it can live through sorry it can breathe through the lungs when the frog is going to water medium at the time it can breathe with its skin it is different types of adaptations some animals only adapt with the land resources some animals adapt with the water resources but the frog is amphibian it can live with both resources one is a land resource second one water resources so that is different types of animal entering size wise animals are classified two categories unicellular animal multicellular animal that is one category another category is size of the animals this one second one adaptations all the animals are adapting all the climate or all the geographic areas because the air surface all the locations not in same categories compare one to another in different structure in different forms so animals also it is adapt that in different climate so different types of animals different types of animals adapt in different climate that is called biodiversity maybe a plant the plant diversity maybe animal that is called animal diversity again once again i tell you diversity which means varieties biodiversity means different types which means different types of biological organism living in the world that is called biodiversity okay remaining topic we will discuss in next class just one small request you just observe the video any other doubt or you will need more information give the comments i will rectify it i will give the more information for you uh, this video should fully observe don't skip the video fully observe some more benefit for you Read, thank you.